Today, I want to talk with you about narcissists and their clicks. And when I say clicks, I'm not talking about the noises that they make, not that type of click. I'm talking about the type of people that narcissists associate with their group, crew, pack, their entourage. And clicks are known to be identifiers. But with narcissists, they take the identification of the group and they make it their own personal identity. And this is where all kinds of weird things start to happen. Let's talk in this message as to why you don't need to be a part of any narcissistic clique. My name is Kevin, and this is The Royal We. Now, before I get into this message about narcissists and their cliques, I want to let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar where you can schedule some one-on-one -on -one time with me, and I look forward to talking with you. Now, this morning, I wanted to take this message outside. I wanted to get out of here and get into the sunshine, but I got held up in some crazy traffic. I mean, I'm used to being stopped by trains around here, but I've never seen anything like this. I mean, very unusual traffic for 9 o'clock a.m. on a Monday morning. I had no idea what was going on, but it ended up being something pretty Cool. I happened to be right downtown at the time when one of the largest steam powered trains rolled right on through St. Louis. Now, I'm not even that much of a train guy, but this thing was impressive. It was massive in size. The wheels of this train were the size of a person, and it was loud, so loud the babies were crying and the kids were screaming when it was going by. So that was pretty cool. I think it's good to just. Be outside, open your eyes, take a moment. You never know what you're going to run into. And oftentimes, one good accident leads into another. While I was there, I got to stop at a food truck called Honeybees because I heard their biscuits were incredible. So I had to try one for myself. And sure enough, their biscuits were pretty doggone incredible. So even though I didn't get the message done when I wanted to get it done, I got to see some pretty cool stuff. But now let's get into this message about narcissists and their cliques, their groups, their crews, their entourages, and why you really want no part of it whatsoever and you don't need it. First, let's have a basic understanding of cliques just in general. Cliques are a very primitive way to form identification, to form validation. Babies and infants, when they're born into this world, their first click is oftentimes the family, the mother, the father. Children actually require clicks in order to have any validation, in order to have any identity, because they don't have the wherewithal to form self-identity, to form self-validation. So the only way a child can get validation or identity is from outside sources. And this typically follows throughout adolescence and into high school. And it's because of this reason people start to form groups and divisions. You've got the no boys allowed club, the no girls allowed club, the no nerds allowed club. And then you got the baseball team and the football team and the cheerleading team. All of these are cliques. They're identifiers. They're a way to create identities for people who struggle to know who and what their identity even is. Now, these things, these, this need for outside validation and this need for finding your identity in a group should resolve itself as you mature. But what we see with narcissists is that these things never quite resolve themselves. Narcissists live their lives constantly needing a click. What does this tell you about narcissists? It tells you that they never grow the wherewithal to have their own identity from the inside their own self-validation, their own self-identity. They constantly need outside people, an outside group, an outside identifier to tell them who they are. Not only do they require that group, but if anything opposes that group, they believe so strongly that that group is them that they fight and they exclude other people, right? Which, by the way, when you grow out of your need for outside validation, you usually grow into a place of having compassion, understanding. You grow into having uh, things such as fairness, justice, and equality. These things come with your ability to appreciate individuality over group identity. Narcissists can't do that. 
Narcissists require group identity. They require a group to say who and what they are. And now this is problematic because you as an individual, me as an individual, we will struggle to be a part of these groups. Why? Because you can't go into a group saying, hi, I'm here, I'm an individual, and expect them to say, oh, well, great, come on into our group. No, no, no. They're going to say, well, you're not like this group. Ah, so what? We're all just people. Can't No, no, we can't just get along. You're not a part of our group. And narcissists who believe so personally about their group identity, they're really going to be offended. Get away from me, right? We see this in, in typical political divisions. People who are narcissistic who grow up and they're Democrats and they say, no Republicans, I hate Republicans. Anybody who's a Republican, I hate them. And there's Republicans that do the same thing. I hate Democrats, on and on and on. This is narcissistic identification from a group. Within that, there's no personal identification, meaning they, ha they don't have the wherewithal to say, okay, I'm a human, they're a human. They can believe what they want to believe. They can I'll meet them on a human level. Narcissists can't do that because narcissists don't have that human level. I'm at peace with myself so I can be at peace with others. It's you're against the group. Well, guess what? That group is my identity. So now you're against me. And narcissists take it very personally. All right. So the reason it shouldn't matter to you about narcissistic cliques, whether you're dealing with them at work or wherever, is because you should be able to make a decision for yourself. In fact, do it right now as I'm talking to you. Either choose to be an individual, your own thoughts, your own feelings, your own attitudes, your own actions, or choose to fall into a group. I mean, sure, you can give up who you are as an individual and jump into a clique, but then you're going to have to take on that clique. And you're going to have to be like a narcissist and accept that clique as your life. And you're going to have to fight for it and protect that belief as though it's your own personal identity. Chances are that's not the type of person you are. You can't. I know me. I could never let a group identify me. I mean, yeah, I can become friends with people in groups and I could move in and out of groups, but I'll never let a group identify who I am to such an extent that I'll fight with other people. That's just ridiculous, right? I think that I prefer just to be an individual. And if that makes me a social butterfly, and if that makes me a loner, not being a part of a group, then so be it. I'm happy with that. I'd rather be individualistic. I'd rather be self-identified than to fall into a clique that tells me who I am, and then I have to believe that and fight for it. This is where the great disconnect between narcissists and others are. Narcissists heavily believe that the clique or the group is their identity. You and me, we don't. We move in and out of different groups, learning what we can, observing what we can, but not letting it shape our thoughts one way or the other towards other people. We stay open-minded. Narcissists don't. Narcissists, once they get into that group, that clique, that becomes their life, and they're closed-minded to anything outside of that, violently so, with hostility. It's for this reason, hopefully, you don't want to be a part of a narcissistic clique. So if you feel excluded, if you feel on the outside, be thankful. Continue living your life as an individual. You don't need to be a part of a clique because you don't need a clique to identify you. You don't need a clique to tell you who you are. Stay an individual. Do your work. Live in the neighborhood. Visit the family. But don't need to be a part of their clique or their group. It's not worth it. It's silly. It really is dumb. It's lame. When you think about narcissists needing the click to identify their lives, it's really lame. You don't need that. Listen, as I said before, I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access to my calendar. One-on-one -on -one appointments are available. FaceTime, WhatsApp, and telephone calls are available for you. You'll find the link to my calendar down below. Monday night, which is tonight, is live chat. So join me on the Royal We Live channel for the live chat. Saturday morning is Royal We Fellowship, an in-depth Bible study as it pertains to narcissism in the world. So you'll find all these links down. You'll find these links down below. Follow me on Instagram at Join the Royal We, and I'll be back with more videos for you right here on the Royal We.